and welcome to the 1-6 Scale Man YouTube page. It's your boy LR bringing you the best in 1-6 Scale collectibles in any and everything pop culture. Finally, myself, and I know others have actually reviewed this, but like I just took my time, but this is one of two, but you know, why not? Why basically review two when you could just review one and get the same effect? Uh, but I will have two of these in hand to kind of create that um, incredible, incredible scene. Uh, that we got from season one of The Mandalorian. It was the last and final episode. But finally, we have the Scout Trooper and Speeder Bike Ensemble uh, in hand. Of course, with the uh, baby Grogu uh, right there with them. Um, this is a huge box. Like when I got it in hand, I was like, damn, how big is this thing, man? This is huge. It's incredibly huge. Uh, but yeah, uh, this thing right here is is it, it's completely incredible man like i mean i i can't say it uh any any better like i said you see basically we have this um you know the wrap around uh logo band in front you know this comes with majority of the uh mandalorian line um hopefully they'll continue this with the entire star wars line um again uh it's huge and it can't even really fit inside of this particular box but you know it you know especially the black box itself but i will show you that on the side here if i actually bring this out you know this is too huge uh to, to get any movement so what we'll do is we'll slide the camera over slightly and you can see basically right here we do have and um if we kind of you know zoom in just a tad bit here uh let's see give me a second just want to kind of gain a, 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 a bit of control here as we do basically see we have the speeder bike with the actual um, scout trooper on top the logo wraps around um, now I'm not going to go completely in the back here because like I said you know with these figures and pretty much anything that we actually get hot toys related um, you know, it's going to actually have that wrap around band that wrap around on in the back of it. It's going to actually have nothing but the warnings, uh, the instructions when it comes to the figure itself. So it's not too much that we actually have to, you know, really go through. So you have it here in front of you. You get a chance to basically see it. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't wait to crack it open. I'm going to be surprised at what's going to be in this box. Um, because I know right away we'll have the speeder bike. I'm just wondering what is going to be the difference from this bike and putting it together compared to what we got from Sideshow because that one was extremely delicate. If you have it, I have it. Um, but it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful piece, but it's very intricate and it is very delicate and, and fragile. So some of those pieces, you know, did break off. I did, you know, get them back on. But yeah, it wasn't really a fun job. But again, this is one of the two speeder bikes that I have. Actually, I got this one. I'll have the other one coming shortly. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to review this one, get all the accessories outside the box on this table. Uh, I'll probably take some time to put that speeder bike together first so you can get an idea of, you know, pretty much what that looks like because uh, that's going to be a task, boy. But um, yeah, let's get all the accessories out on the table in front of us. You know crack everything open and we'll get to that figure a bit later we're going to get the accessories first and see what we have there and yeah you be the judge let's go now before we get to that figure or get to the accessories i did want to actually show you because i kind of forgot to take a look at this but this is the beautiful box art that we actually get this is the lid cover once you actually take the box off this is what you actually get inside um of the box itself and this is amazing like very beautiful um this piece is gorgeous um you know this is something like i would have actually wanted to see something like this i might even get like a print of this um on a canvas or something because this is beautiful i love the way this actually looks um, but this is how it's going to look before you actually open up the box to get all the accessories and when you open up the box to get the accessories out you'll have this leg cover on first and it's amazing it's beautiful man like this is a nice piece you know hot toys always delivers and i'm wouldn't expect anything less, but yeah, I wanted to show you that real quick before we actually crack open those accessories and get them out the box. But yep, without further ado, let's get it going. And we are back. And as you can see, I have all the accessories outside the box. Now, I took some time myself uh, to put the actual uh, speeder bike together. 
Now, here's the thing. This is the Hot Toys version. It's not the side soap version. Now, this really didn't take long at all. As a matter of fact, it was pretty much assembled itself for the exception of the uh, gripping handlebars themselves, the backpack on the back. Besides that, everything else was already assembled. So Hot Toys, kudos for that because I didn't have to worry about assembling anything when it comes to that actual speeder bike that was a headache that was basically one of the big, biggest issues i had with the sideshow version this hot toys version is amazing so i didn't have to worry about that there were no problems there were no issues this right in here uh was fabulous um as you can see basically we have like i said that speeder bike itself now this is the actual satchel the backpack that uh grogu himself let me bring him up here this guy right here goes inside of this backpack you slide him in uh pretty much let's see here let's open that up um i think it actually has let's see here oh so they treat it like it is an actual backpack so you have to really be careful with this piece so you slide it like so that slides out like so and yes grogu actually fits take this little pillow piece out he fits inside I believe and they make it a bit harder for us to get him in so yeah he fits in like so just like that so Grogu of course goes inside the, ba the bag the bag tilts over like that so that this is how you actually fit him in um, I'm not going to really pay too much attention to it. Um, but at the same time, yes, this is Grogu. So of course, you know, let's bring the little guy up here so we can actually get a look at that. This is Grogu, of course. So again, you know, you want to make sure that when you do, you know, have him in, you know, let's zoom in on the little guy. That's the facial expression that you actually get with him. Um, Again, if you already actually had most of your Mando accessories, it comes with a Grogu. So you're probably Grogu'd out, but again, it is what it is. We have them. You might as well just accept it now and just kind of go with the flow like I do. But it is, you know, whatever. It's a piece. It's something that we get with it. So I'm not really worried about it, you know. But again, you see how that actually fits in like so. This tucks over here. You can strap it if you want to. You can actually have him leaned off to the side here. Um, but in, in any case, this actually straps on the top like so, like that. So we'll figure that out once we get to it. Um, but anyway, pretty much an amazing piece that we get with that. And again, this is the pillow that fits inside the bag. So even if you don't want Grogu in there, you can actually just fit this inside like so. Uh, but moving on, like I said, we do actually with this speeder bike, it does come with a beautiful, beautiful dynamic stand. Um, now, one thing I want to mention to you real quick, though, is that it does come with these magnetic pieces. Now, these pieces actually slip on here. So they actually go under in this little hole section here. Now, you're wondering why It's because when you put the boots on, there's a magnetic piece on the bottom of the figure itself under the booted area where the tread is that magnetically attaches itself to these pieces while it's on the bike. I like that they did that. That's interesting. Um, I'm glad they gave us that. So it kind of doesn't give you the headache of always having to position the feet on or the boots themselves on the speeder. You know, we get these, it does help out. So I'm glad. Of course, we do actually have just a regular stand. Now this is basically uh, a regular stand that you could, uh, you know, place in and of course, what do we get? The infamous feet positions that actually come on this stand. You know, on this stand, you have the darker sand uh, gravel. And this is the gravel that they were on. If you basically are familiar with this particular episode, um, this is the gravel uh, that they actually had. And it comes with these footprints. I don't know why Hot Toys continues to do that because sometimes we don't want to position it the way they think we should position it. You can put it in any way you want to. It does come with that, like, nice little gloss tan. Uh, um, name plate on the top so we do get that so yeah i mean it's a very interesting piece uh you know 
it's a base so it's typical of course we have the stand that actually goes inside of the base itself like so i probably won't use it because i'll probably have him tilted on the speeder uh not really you know riding it but just want a recreation itself now it does come with this beautiful base now if you look at that base I mean that that right there is it's like a gravel base itself nice little gravel piece that comes with this figure um it does give you a bit of uh sensation now it's sort of like mimics the one that we got with sideshow but this one is a, a bit better i have to say right off the back a bit better more detailed and it kind of fits the scene so i'm glad we got that um so yeah um really you know really 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 happy that we got these these pieces now again they scroll out here it does come with the hands now it does have the glove gloved hands if you as you see um again these are the hands for the actual trooper itself um so if you've already had a you know trooper you probably you know especially a a, a scout trooper um you already recognize that you know it's nothing different from what we've seen already this goes on the back of the actual scout trooper it's like a, a little uh unit maybe a, a unit containing um you know something you know i don't know it doesn't really feed the uh figure oxygen oxygen because you don't need that so it just might be some type of unit that houses accessories or anything that the trooper needs uh but yeah comes with that i like that you know any accessory we get accessories that we get especially for what we pay for i'm happy about that so no problems with me i do like that um Let's see here you know like the quality that we get that the detail we get in that so very happy had to adjust the lighting on that so you know so you can kind of see there and get an idea of what it looks like um you do get a, a bit of detail weathering with that as well so i'm extremely happy about that um yeah i like it i like it is what it is and then of course we have his blaster pistol and yes, um, again, if you've had a trooper, you've probably seen this before. Or even if you didn't have a trooper, if you actually had a, um, if you have the rogue, I'm not, not the rogue one, if you have the solo uh, patrol trooper, um, this is pretty much the same blaster you've actually seen. If you have like the um, OG version of the scout trooper, same blaster. So I do like that. But yeah. These are pretty much all the accessories that we actually get with this figure. It's not, you know, a lot um or you know not too much but just this is just what we need you know for for you know the uh figure and also for the speeder bike um big huge so this is basically a space grabber like i made the mistake of ordering two so i don't know where i'm going to place them um i don't know if i'm going to put them in a maju case because i want to save room for those maju cases I might put it on the top of a detolf, but you know, I do want to get some photos recreating that, you know, that scene that I love so dearly. So yeah, um, but yeah, this is basically it. Now what we're going to do right now is we're going to get that figure out here, um, examine it and um, yeah, um, you be the judge. We're going to put him next to the actual speeder bike and see what it looks like. But yeah, I'm excited. I hope you are. Let's move forward and get it going. and we are back and as you can see i have the trooper right here in front of me um now i wanted to actually i kept the uh the uh speeder bike in the back for a little bit of ambience um but this figure is incredible man i like it i like that i like what they've actually done with it like i said for my first scout trooper i'm happy with it i'm happy with the detail i'm happy with the quality i'm happy with the um weathering any actual armor i mean it's highly detailed the quality is on point um as you can see i actually have him with grogu um on his back uh as we actually seen him on his speeder bike um you know so just kind of playing around with a few ideas but later on you'll see i actually have the figure on the speeder bike uh, as we will put him on um just you know just trying to create that iconic you know symbolism of him being on his 
his uh, bike itself. But yeah, the detail that we actually get in this uh, figure is incredible. I do love it. Um, you know, uh, again, like if anyone who's actually ever had uh, one of the scout troopers would know um, its detail. Um, and it's basically probably one of the most articulate of uh, the figures of the uh, troopers because of the simple fact that he has to be on the bike. So um, I, would, I, I would actually even want to say that they modeled uh, pretty much almost uh, the same quality um, of the shore troopers, uh, you know, the tank troopers that we'll eventually get uh, off of this particular figure because of the detail. Um, you know, yeah, it's this like, again, it's, it's, it's an amazing piece. Uh, I do love it um you know hot toys always nails it when it comes to troopers um minimal restraint i will tell you that there is a lot of articulation here you have double joints and the elbows as well as the knees so you do get full range of motion you do also get full range with the boot um i do like that it has a material over that and it does have full range and ankle pivot on the actual uh and in, in the ankles itself um with the head you do get a lot of range there up and down side to side so you did you get some quality there as well um so definitely happy about that um and yeah like to me um they nailed it when it comes to the figure the figure and you know just what we actually get from it um so if you are thinking about get it get it you know what i mean um uh, i'm getting it you know just just go ahead and get it i mean it, it's it's quality like it is detail uh yeah uh I can't wait to get the second one, like I said, to recreate that iconic scene from um, the uh, final episode of season one um, of Mando. But yeah, like, yeah, I mean, it's 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 what you would what actually expect out of an actual trooper. And yeah, it's good to go. So whatever I'm what I'm going to do next is get this figure on top of the speeder bike so you can see how that actually looks. Um, you know, and you know what you get from that, um, you know, how it's going to actually look. And um, yeah, I'm happy with it. You'll be happy with it if you get it in hand. So let's go. And we are back. And as you can see, I now have the trooper on the speeder bike uh, just so you can actually get an idea uh, of what it's going to look like when it's outside the box, when you have it within your presence, when you actually have it displayed, um, however you're going to actually display it. Um, I will say it's a bit tricky. Um, it is tricky to kind of get this uh, figure on the speeder bike because, number one, um, now they do come with uh, magnetic, like I said, it has the magnetic pieces that you put on the speeder down here um, that do attach to the boot. Uh, the problem is, and if we can actually just kind of zoom in on that a little bit, the problem is that when you actually get, uh, or when you're trying to, um, you know, put the boot on. Um, the issue is it's, it's, or, you know, when you're trying to get the boot inside of the, um, you know, uh, you know, on the ignition, I would actually want to say, um, when you're actually trying to get on, uh, the biggest issue is, is trying to attach the foot to the magnet. It's not strong enough to do so. Uh, it would seem that way, but it's not. Um, so you got to be very careful um, how you actually do it, that you don't overextend. You don't want to break this piece off of the axle speeder. Um, so you just want to be as careful as you possibly can do, be, because even though the speeder itself and how they um, have it already almost assembled inside the box, they're still delicate pieces. So you do want to be careful of how you actually do it. Um, handle with care, definitely, but I think you can do it. Everything would be fine. Um, but just be careful. I mean, that's the main thing that I would actually say is just be careful how, um, you know, you choose to, you know, uh, handle the bike itself. But other than that, like I said, this piece is, is it's incredible. Uh, still a pretty dope piece, an amazing piece. Uh, the speeder bike itself, um, I'm, I'm so, so hyped uh, that I got it. I can't wait to get the second one. Um, I have him on here. As you can see, I have Grogu basically in the back, like so, um, you know, peeking outside the bag itself. Um, probably not how I'm going to actually keep him. Um, I want to recreate the conversation scene that he had uh, with the other trooper. Um, but yeah, it looks great. Um, it looks really, really decent. But, you know, of course, spacing is going to be the issue. 
that's going to probably be the main issue is spacing. Um, you know, wherever you put this piece, however you're going to actually have him, um, wherever you're going to put him in the detail, like you're, you're not going to be able to put him in the detail. I'm just going to tell you that right off the bat. Um, if you have Maju cases, it will look great on the Maju cases, definitely. It probably look better on the Maju cases um, if you have spacing there. Or you can put it on top of an actual detail if you want to, or however else you want to actually display it. But this is a huge piece. But I'm happy with it. You know, I'm happy with the simple fact that we are getting something like this that I'm, you know, could get my hands on this piece. And, you know, once I get the second one, I will display it. Um, you know right next to him um it, it is a good you know it's a good companion piece um uh, to uh, ig11 um definitely um uh, because you know we did see him actually on the speeder um if you want to create recreate that chase scene that we saw from i think it was episode uh i want to actually call it episode i think it was eight or nine um on the show i, I you know keep me honest I, I forget which which one it was and that's when um, the heist that took place, you know, when, uh, you know, Mando, Grief Karga, um, Cardoon, um, you know, when they broke into that uh, Imperial base uh, to get the uh, information about, um, you know, um, uh, Moff Gideon's uh, light cruiser, um, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it, it uh, you know. You can kind of recreate that without really, you know, get some good photos, get some good pieces. But anyway, um, um, regardless, this is amazing. Um, hands down, like one of my favorite pieces is Star Wars all day, every day. And actually, because I've never actually had a scout trooper in my possession. So this is basically the first time I didn't go get the sideshow version. I'm glad I didn't. Um, I'm glad I waited and got my hands on this one. Sideshow is actually, I mean, I'm sorry, Hot Toys uh, will actually release... Uh, they're releasing, uh, hopefully, they're going to release a OG Return of the Jedi um, um, version with the uh, brown or the, you know, uh, uh, copper color speeder. Um, you know, so yeah, it's the OG version. So we definitely will get that. But I do like, I love, what I love about this is the weathering on the speeder itself. The detail, the quality that we actually get with that. Um, even the weathering on the figure itself. So man it's 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 an amazing piece um you know they knocked it out the park you know spared no expensive giving us detail on this so yeah i'm extremely happy man if you saw earlier in my in my uh figure uh, uh portion of this video um you know they did it justice like they they knocked it they nailed it they completely nailed it so yeah um i'm happy with it again uh, you can get this basically through now. I know Sideshow has it available. Um, I actually got my figure or got this particular piece through Underground Toys. My man Ray, um, shout out to Ray. He's a reseller. So again, support your local resellers. Um, like I said, we're all in it for collecting. No matter where you actually get your piece, be supportive like to smaller businesses. You know, show these corporations that it's not just about them. You know, these resellers are out to make money as well and they need our support. Um, so do support them. That's why I support Ray from Underground Toys, Giant Toys. Sometimes I support Toys Wonderland. I support, um, you know, uh, there's a host of t uh, TN Toys. Like, this is look, there's a, a whole list of other companies that you can actually purchase your figures from. Don't be restricted to just one individual company because they want to monopolize. I'm just going to tell you that right off the bat, um, you know, without going into detail. Just basically support your resellers. Uh, do what you basically want to do as far as getting, you know, quality. Um, and yeah, um, go for what, what you know. Um, but yeah, you get this through whatever outlet you can get, whether it's Sideshow, whether it's any of these smaller resellers. If there's a piece that you're looking for and you want to find it, get it. That's what I'm saying. Just, you know what I mean? Go for what you know. Um, but yeah, this is a beautiful piece. Uh, Hot Toys, you nailed it. If you like this video, as always, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. And as always, prepare for my next adventure. This is LR for the 1-6 Scale Man YouTube page. Signing off. Always support. Um, and again, we'll be, we will be coming with uh, another video soon. Um, I have some more pieces coming in. Um, and yeah, let's get it going. LR for the 1-6 Scale Man YouTube page. Signing off all day, every day, and always. Peace to love. Love what you collect. And let's get it going.